Hey guys, welcome back to the channel yet again. So another single has dropped. Um, seems to be the time for singles. Um, but um, this one is finally Avril Lavigne. Avril Lavigne is back uh, from her um, ordeal with Lyme disease, um, which um, seems to have uh, slowed her down for a fair few years because uh, she's definitely been out of the game for years now. But um, that was um, obviously due to uh, the Lyme disease, if you didn't know. Um, she's obviously um, as well had a few um, personal uh, problems um, along the lines of uh, being divorced um, yet again. Um, she used to be married to the Sum 41 singer and uh, then she uh, got married to Chad Kroger of Nickelback. Um, they've now split up. So, um, and then obviously gone through Lyme disease. Um, so she's been out of the game for a while, um, but um, on a different note, uh, for uh, people who kind of actually do listen to me, my four subscribers, um, they're going to be thinking, why the hell am I reviewing this? Because I review metal, and um, I keep talking about great epic scope music and everything, and Avril Lavigne definitely is not that. Um, well, um, I'll I'll um, address that um, to the best of my ability. I shouldn't have to defend myself, but um, I don't think anyone's going to tap me for it. But um, I will say why. Um, Avril Lavigne, um, when I was in high school, um, was a big deal. Um, obviously, um, in the kind of um, rock um, scene, um, indie scene. Um, even people who were into metal um, could appreciate Avril Lavigne. So um, she was big in high school and um, she, she, she was a lot of fun to listen to with your friends and her music was upbeat and fun. So I did kind of like her as a kid. I didn't love her, um, obviously. I listened to her Van Temple, Bullet for My Valentine and things like that back in the day in Disturbed. Um, Avril Lavigne was just a now and then thing. And just having fun and singing along to the extremely catchy and memorable songs that she did. Um, so she's nostalgic to me, basically. And I do seek out talent. And I do say Avril Lavigne has an incredible voice. Her voice is unbelievably brilliant. And her music can be very, very catchy. And a hell of a lot of fun. And upbeat and cheerful. And it makes a break from what I listen to, which is metal. Like, I do talk about I like diversity. This is clearly different to what I listen to. It gives me a breath of fresh air where I can just sit back, relax, and listen to something very cheerful. Instead of having to put a lot of attention into the music, or have a lot of aggression, and things like that. It's just a different change of pace. It's not something I majorly focus on, but um, it's something. So, um, going through um, the discography of Avril to kind of give you a kind of insight as to how I feel. Um, her first album, uh, there was a fair few tracks on that I didn't really uh, like, uh, being too slow and nothing really grand and upbeat. So, uh, basically, Skater Boy, that was my type of thing. Um, the guitars in that, um, although not um, overly complicated, haha, <laughs> complicated is a song, but it's a terrible joke. Um, but um, yeah, um, the guitar um, sounded um, pretty cool, um, pretty decent. Um, her vocals was great. That chorus was uh, kind of huge and memorable, and it's just down in history. It's going to be remembered for years and years and years. It's a brilliant song, it's a lot of fun, it's so upbeat and catchy, just a huge amount of fun is that song. And her voice soars and it goes through um, subtle changes here and there and everything, so her voice has the progression. Musically there's not much progression, obviously, there's no solo, although I think uh, you could argue there is a solo, but if they actually do say that is the solo, it's damn pathetic. Um, but that was pretty much it from the first album, all I kind of remember is Skater Boy. Um, the album following that, again, it was uh, pretty kind of slow, um, a lot of acoustic things, but uh, nothing uh, really much to it. So, um, just a tad things here and there. 
But then the third album, Best Damn Thing, is a phenomenal um, album. I pretty much love every track off of that. Girlfriend, um, even though a lot of people say, God, that is so girly and um, puffy and uh, all the kind of things like that. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's a great and um, fun song and everything. And um, Hot, I really like that. I think the chorus of that is... Uh, phenomenal and they're uh, catchy and they're uh, great and everything best damn thing is awesome um even though um there's not much going on musically um each track uh, does have um a different pace a different flow a different kind of melody to it a different type of singing style but it's all upbeat it's all fun and um yeah back in the day with best damn thing like uh, my friend was a Addicted to uh, Avril Lavigne, where he would, um, if I play anything, he just sings along, and I can just force him to sing it. And uh, he was a pretty big guy and everything um, back then, so I just kind of uh, found it funny for some reason, just to play. And then he's like, "God damn you, Zach!" And then he's seriously trying to not sing along, and then eventually he's just like doing all the kind of dancing and everything, and. That was memories for me. It's memories of me having fun with my friend. And um, I still listen to it personally myself. Um, so uh, every now and then I would actually listen to it on my own. Just if I was in that mood of I just want to listen to something that's simple and a hell of a lot of fun. And then the album after that, um, Goodbye Lullaby, maybe... Um, very slow album mostly. Uh, the first track was uh, pretty um, good. Um, I really liked the tra track Smile. Um, I thought that was a phenomenal track. Um, but um, most of that I wasn't keen on. Uh, the album after that, uh, the one she did with Chad, um, was uh, quite uh, beautiful and everything. Um, but um, she tried doing the best damn thing, but it was... Um, kind of more lazy, not as really fun, more poppy, there wasn't really that kind of pop-punk element to it, it was way more pop than the punk element, even though people say the best damn thing is a lot of pop, not much punk. But, um, the Hello Kitty in that song, holy hell, that was terrible. But the song she did with Marilyn Manson, now that was, uh, unique, that was, uh, quite different for her. Still nothing grand and different on a massive scale, but, um, Marilyn Manson... Um, that was pretty in intriguing. And then obviously it was the massive long break, and now we have finally got a single from her, which is Head Ab Above Water. So running through the discography, obviously I'm not a huge fan, I don't go out my way to actually listen to her, it's just every now and then I will listen to her. Because it is different to what I listen to. So when I'm... Because eventually I will kind of at times get a bit fed up of listening to the same kind of thing. Although my music is very varied, I'm not saying they're all very repetitive what I listen to, it is all varied, but it is all in the genre of kind of metal and rock. So it's just a different type of genre for me. It's focusing on a voice which is, um, the voice is the main focus and it's very beautiful and pretty and it's very, very fun and upbeat and metal's not usually about that, it's about te technicality and grandness and musically challenging the scopes of music, basically. So, um, that is me. It's not something I go 10 out of 10, the musicianship and everything, and all the rubbish like that is great. Like, there was one girl when I was in school when, um, I say I listen to great guitarists, and she says, Avril Lavigne's a great uh, guitarist, and then I kind of laugh, and she's like, what? She's like one of the best guitarists. And she plays chords, that is all she does. And then I went and labelled all these things, but the girl never even heard of any of them, and she went, oh, so, um, yeah, um, I'm not one of them people, basically, who actually will say she's a phenomenal guitarist and all the rubbish like that, and phenomenal lyricist. Because her lyrics uh, can be uh, quite repetitive and of the same type of thing, kind of like the pop uh, type of thing. But, um, yeah, that's basically me. Um, every now and then I'll go out my way to listen to it, but um, it is very now and then. It's not uh, once a week or anything like that or even once a month, it's like uh, maybe once a year <laughs> um, for the nostalgia and they're uh, basically just because I want to hear something nostalgic and different. But um, getting into it, Head Above Water, um, 
melodic again. Um, her voice is obviously grand and epic in scale. Her voice is amazing. Um, there's uh, violin kind of parts in there, which um, is very nice. It's a very nice uh, sound to go along with her voice. Um, but other than that, it's just a mel melody. Her voice is uh, brilliant. Um, lyrics, meh. Uh, musically, other places like that, nothing. Um, it's just the violins. They kind of sound nice. Other than that, musically, there's nothing um, amazing or decent at all. Her voice is amazing. Lyrics aren't. Structure isn't. Uh, great. It's basically the voice and the violins. That is it. Um, so um, the chorus um, is also quite repetitive. Uh, she uh, does the typical pop thing of repeating the same line over and over again, which to me just sounds like they have no idea how to um, write anything else. So they just repeat the same thing over and over and over again because they don't know what else to say because um, they're not great at writing, writing lyrics. They're not good musicians like that. But um, I know that's harsh, but that is the truth. Um, it's the repeated lyrics, and there's not much lyrics to it because it's only 3 minutes 41 seconds, and it's basically just a verse and a chorus, and that's basically it. So a lot of repetition, and in the chorus, it's repeated over and over again in the same chorus. So um, i got to say, it is lazy. It, that is the case, and there is not much to it. It's not really something that can really be argued. Um, but I'm not bashing, because as I say, her voice is amazing. Uh, the subtle uh, violins that are in there um, does sound uh, great. And um, it's a nice flow. It's a very beautiful sounding song. It, it is kind of pleasing uh, to the ears. Um, but other than that, nothing really special. So uh, rating it, um, for me personally, I'd give it a 4. A five would be um, average, where um, I would kind of um, maybe every now and then go out my way just to give it a bit of a listen, which is mostly Avril Lavigne to me is around a five or a six above average, so it sounds nice, and every now and then I'll listen to it, or the six, which is, um, yeah, this is pretty good, I would um, kind of listen to this, but still now and then. Um, this is a four, though which is, um, I wouldn't go out my way to really ever listen to this again, but if it was to play, I'd be happy with it. If it was to play, I wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't go, oh, can you play something else? I'd be like, this is nice. I like this. But personally, I wouldn't uh, play it myself. And, um, going a tad bit further in this review, um, Avril's best album basically is the best damn thing. And she doesn't replicate it. Like, Avril Lavigne is mostly said to be um, pop punk. It's that punk element which is her image. And she's been trying so hard to kind of stay away from it, but it doesn't really work. Avril Lavigne needs to get um, back into that... Um, upbeat, uh, the guitars, um, so basically the full band um, being there, instead of just have it as a piano or some uh, rubbish like that. She needs a full band there, it needs to be the pop punk type of sound, it needs to be upbeat, it needs to be fun, it needs to be a good time. That is where Avril Lavigne shines. But um, she's seriously trying not to do that, she's definitely trying to go more in the pop um, route. And um, I'm going to say it off the bat, if she sticks with it, she'll never be as big as the best damn thing again. She just won't be. And she'll probably lose a fair few fans. Because the majority of fans like that punk element over pop. Less people prefer her for her pop part to the punk. So... Hopefully, when the album drops, if she is actually writing an album, if she just wrote the single to show I'm still alive, um, we'll have to see if she actually goes back to um, her roots. Um, she has said um, when the album comes out, um, when she does it, or if she has, it will be back to the roots, but she has said that previously, and it's been a load of rubbish. Um, it's just one of these things bands say, which like, we've matured, which I think bands just say that because that's what bands say. They have no idea what it actually means. Um, it's something completely new and it's exactly the same. 
because that's what bands say. Um, so that could be the case. It could basically just be, people want to hear that I'm going back to my roots, but I'm actually not. But I don't know that because I'm not talented. And it makes you sound pretty thick in the long scheme of things. So you may as well tell the truth. But, um, yeah, basically, yeah, Raffin or Fesh, it's not like her roots, this song. It's not like a best damn thing. And that is where Avril Lavigne shines. That is Avril Lavigne. Avril Lavigne is not pop. She can try to be. And it will do sort of okay. But it's not going to be anything like what she was like in the early days as well as Best Damn Thing era, if she sticks to the pop. And there's a big um, opening for her, obviously, because in that um, industry of pop punk, Paramore has completely abandoned that. And um, Paramore's come out with a statement recently that they're not even going to be playing Misery Business anymore because they think the song's sexist. So they're completely dropping that from the set list, and then the previous two albums, like the new album is just flat out pop, there is nothing punk about it, it's just bland pop and sounds absolutely terrible, and the album before that was pretty damn pop with elements of punk, very very scarce in there. And a lot of Paramore fans, like Paramore is doing huge because all the pop fans are just pouring into them, but all of the actual fans, the ones that have been with them since the start, a lot of them have left and abandoned uh, Paramore, leaving the pop-punk scene open for Avril Lavigne. And if she's smart, she'd bloody play to it. People around this industry usually are not smart in the slightest. So we'll have to see. If she goes back to the best damn thing type of era, I think it could be pretty damn amazing for her. It will be very successful. And I would also like it. I'd give it a few listens. Then I'd move on, clearly. And then every now and then come back to it. But at the moment, for Head Above Water, it's alright. And if it was to play, I'd enjoy it. But I would not listen to it myself. It's not that good for me. But her voice is, again, amazing. And the violins were nice. And it's a very nice sounding song. But nothing good enough for me to go out my way to listen to personally because if it was to play I'd respect it and I would enjoy myself listening to it so if you like leave a like if uh, you don't um, you can uh, dislike but again if it's um, basically going to be a comment of Avril Lavigne's great the musicianship is great there's loads of structure um, blah 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 therefore you're wrong you're saying that your opinion is fact, and the fact is your opinion is opinion, so it clearly is not a fact, so don't bother even trying. Um, if you want to see more from me, um, because I do um, a lot of reviews, um, if you're coming in just to hear about Avril Lavigne, um, I don't do reviews kind of in that kind of scope, so if you were to subscribe to me, then pretty much all you're going to get is metal. Then that's pretty much the scope for me. So you need to bear that in mind. If you uh, don't really like metal and it's basically pop and uh, the kind of punk thing you want to hear, then um, I don't do that, unfortunately. So uh, don't subscribe to me if that's the case. Um, but if you uh, like um, metal and things and uh, want to hear things in depth, I go into a lot of depth on things. Um, my reviews are very long because I do go into uh, so much depth on it. And if you uh, like metal, I do cover that a lot. Um, so if that's uh, what you're into, then please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. And I believe uh, that is it. So until next time, uh, guys, see you later.